Hey YouTube, I uh, just wanted to start off my channel by jumping right in. Uh, welcome to the shop. Uh, right now I am cutting a fingerboard mold, aka mini skateboard mold. Uh, so this is like something that people would use to make the actual boards out of wood. Um, but besides that, I wanted to just jump in because I, I think that this will help sort of explain what the channel is going to be about. Uh, well, mostly anyway. I have some plans for other things, but they're somewhat technically related. Um, but yeah, I am currently cutting this mold and I am in Linux CNC. So a lot of my videos will be using Linux CNC. Um, and I'm also working on a Sherline Model 5400. As you can see, I'm cutting out of uh, some styrofoam material. This is common in the floral industry. Uh, they use it for making floral arrangements. And it's not the best uh, quality for uh, your cut or whatever, but I don't know. It's making sure that I don't ruin any end mills or anything. Because another thing I wanted to mention is that I am definitely new to all this. Safety first. I have my safety glasses on. Um, and I'm testing this out before I actually run it on some aluminum, which is what I hope to make it on in the future. Um, so, yeah, welcome to the shop. And I'm going to stop the video here. And I'll pick back up in a bit. Because what I want to do is explain to you how I set up my Sherline mill. Um, I was, it was definitely confusing and I don't feel like there's a lot of good YouTube videos that explain how to set this thing up, especially with my controllers, um, which I'll actually go to uh, later on in the video. So, stopping now, be back in a bit. set it up and so I'm using AutoCAD Fusion 360. Um, so here's hopefully going to be the, the finished model but I actually model my uh, fixtures. If anyone wants this uh, um, vice model let me know. Um, it should be dimensionally correct or accurate uh, based on my calipers, which aren't the best calipers, but I think it's pretty close. Um, but in AutoCAD Fusion, you can actually um, add in your toolpaths. You can I'll show you in your setup. So in stock, oh, where is it actually? Setup. You can actually add a fixture. And so that's what I did. So it'll tell you when you make your toolpaths whether or not you're hitting your fixture or not which is pretty cool. Um, so pretty basic setup. I uh, have a pocket and I'm doing an adaptive cut and then the contour to sort of get this concave in here. Um, may I'll walk through this uh, a little bit more in the future and how I set it up. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek there or just show you how I initially set this thing up. this diamonds volume one book uh, on eBay recently and the the thing is pretty much destroyed it came in like a lot of other books um, pretty useful info information though 
Um, so I'm going to try to save most of it. But then there's these that are just disgusting. Ugh. Uh, and the binder is pretty messed up. So we're about to go to Scrap on Burnside and see if we can find a new binder. So we need to get the car out of here so that I can 